Hi, Bangani. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda Jingela and welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, Amgani, thank you so much for coming back and supporting the channel, guys. It's been so long. I'm fun joking, guys. It's been so long and I missed you guys. For real, for real. I missed you guys, but I'm trying to get into the groove of vlogging again since my camera's back and i've just i just you know i'm struggling but i'm off to go shoot some jc larue content as you can see on display <laughs> i'm off i am i'm off to go shoot some jc larue content i'm gonna plug you guys right now so some not all sobe outlets serve um jc larue while you get your treatments done so i'm gonna go shoot some content uh, for JC LaRue at Sobe while I get my nails or my feet done. So Without rambling any further, please do enjoy the rest of this vlog. Don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up Don't forget to subscribe and become a part of my Mgani family um, So let's get this day going Mgani and see what I get up to. Oh this time around. I'm not shooting with Mawanda um Usually he shoots my JC Lure content. I'm just trying to switch up my content a bit and try something different with the new guy um, and see how that goes. And then obviously I'm going to bring you guys along. And if you see my JC Lure content, please do comment with the um, champagne bottle emoji and the champagne glasses emoji. You know, just show me some love. I'd love that. And it's so good to be back. I'm rambling, so let's just get going before I'm late for this shoot. <laughs> hey, Bangani. Um, I just finished shooting at Sobe in Gateway. Um, I'm currently in the car waiting for Uste because I left my SD card with him previously. And then I'm gonna go try grab some lunch at this new spot on Florida where they serve. Mexican food. I think it's tacos. So I want to go meet my partner there for like a late lunch. And obviously, I'm gonna take you guys along and give you a review if it's worth it or not. I've heard really good reviews about it. Actually, that's the reason why we're gonna go try it out. Um, and yeah, I got my nails done at Sobe. How cute! I kept it short. I've been really loving having no tips and no gel on my nails lately um just so i could give my nails a break i feel like i've been with eleanor um for a good three years now and i've been doing my nails almost every other month um which can also make them very weak so i really just wanted to take a break and like you know make my nails catch a break which is the reason why I hadn't had my nails done. But obviously you guys wouldn't have known that because I haven't been on here for a while. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad that the shoot went well. Um, hopefully I'm gonna have this content ready and approved by the end of this week. Um, besides that, I'm really hungry. And once I get my memory card, my well actually my SD card, I'm gonna go off to Florida Road to this restaurant and then yeah tell you guys my thoughts also I want to rant guys so um I don't know if you are aware about the new iOS software upgrade but I find myself not having any service when I leave the house because obviously I use wi-fi at home and when I'm in a space where I'm using Wi-Fi, my phone works. But now with this new iOS, this is what it says. It says, no look on my thing. It says location services turned off. And then I won't be able to make any calls and I won't have any network. And I thought it was a service provider thing. Only to find that on my iPhone 11, when I put my SIM card in, I have service and everything that I need, you know. And I found that so irritating because obviously I didn't upgrade the software on my 11. I upgraded it on my 13. And it's giving me anxiety because why is my phone not working? Why is this iOS like 
fucking up my location services i don't know why my location services are turned off i don't know why they turned off i never turn them off why would i turn them off anyways my 13 is currently not working because of that unless i'm connected to wi-fi then it will work i haven't been able to make calls using this phone so i've swapped it Hello guys, what's up? <laughs> shout out to Amanda. <laughs> no, shout out to you. You must introduce yourself, Pillar. Oh, um, this is Pillar Sunday. I'm a videographer. Check out my page on Instagram. Um, enter the pictures. Mm -hmm. Um, like, comment, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe. Let's go. Yes, he was helping me shoot today, guys. Such a pleasure. <laughs> okay. Say hi to my vlog, Trevor. Yeah, call them banganis. Abangan bam. Eh, hi bangani. Yeah. Giving Mexican. What are you recommending? Hello. 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 Hey Bangani, welcome back to a new day of this vlog. Um, I'm here with my sister. Hi vlog. <laughs> She's helping me reshoot some content that was due. Um, but the guy that was shot my content hasn't, you know, given me the content. So I'm reshooting so I can have something that I can give to brand. Um, hi key stressed. Um, borderline having an emotional breakdown <laughs> but I know my sister's here to save the day um, so yeah I'm gonna go get that done we're gonna do that today it's a Monday it's a new day it's a new week excuse me um, she's going back to school this week so is my daughter so I'm taking advantage of the last day they have on holiday girl yeah are you gonna do good today Am I gonna pressure. do? Am I gonna do good today? Yes. Ah! Anyways, guys, I'll see you when we're at the venue. Hey, Bonnie, welcome to a new day of this very over the place vlog. I am so sorry about how discombobulated this vlog is. Um, but yesterday, I think I left you guys when I was going to go reshoot my JC Little content and unfortunately the venue that i always use okay let me close the door actually as i was saying is that um when we got to the venue which is usually um audacia manor i like shooting my content there because the venue is very homey as much as it's like a, a boutique hotel it gives very much luxe like a luxe home it's got the pool set up the restaurants just very nice garden i had my baby shower there i had my graduation dinner there so i i really like using that venue so when we got there apparently audacia manor no longer operates as a boutique hotel or it doesn't operate at all um then we went to saint james on venice i think if i'm not mistaken yes pumpkin Wamala. i'm gonna really try to get this done very quickly because this girl's here <laughs> so then when we got there we shot a couple of images which i'm going to show you guys but if i don't show them please do go like them on my instagram when they go live um i basically have my afro out but yeah it's that and then because of how emotionally draining that day was i did end up submitting all of my work which is which is nice but it was also very late which is not nice because you never want that to be your brand especially because jc larue is a brand that i've worked with for almost three years now it's going to be three years in december um i've been a part of the jc larue family um Lauren is the lady that I connect with on the daily. She's basically like my campaign manager and I adore working with her. She's really the best and I, she's an absolute gem. So she just understands that sometimes I might not deliver, but when I do, <laughs> child. <laughs> Anyways, 
Um, I don't know where I last told you guys about my skin journey, but I'm also doing a campaign again in Skin Cuticles. Um, so I've already opened this box, um, and I want to start using these products. So I'm gonna do like a little unboxing with you guys. So Skin Cuticles, I've worked with again before. Um, absolutely adore their products, um, especially their peels. I really do think that the peels Dr. Nogmonga does are magic. Um, and I should just stick to that because all the other stuff that I'm trying with other people really don't work for me. And because it didn't work for me, it doesn't mean that it won't work for you. So skin renewal in Durban is is fantastic it just unfortunately the products that they used on my skin really aggravated what was going on and now i've had to deal with this outbreak anyways i went back to what i know which is consuticals and they sent me the photo a plus brightening treatment this is a daily corrective moisturizer from SkinCeuticals. I will be using this um, as part of my daily routine. Um, and this helps with moisturizer to enhance skin tone, clarity, radiance, and texture. It has azelaic acid and arbutin. I hope I'm saying that right. So that's the moisturizer they gave me. And then they gave me... Silmarian C C which is a high potency combination antioxidant with Silmarian, um, 15% L ascorbic acid and 0.5% ferulic acid. So I've used this one before. This was part of my previous drop. So I'm gonna finish that before I open this one. And then they also gave me hydrating B5, which is a moisture enhancing fluid with concentrations of hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5. So this is a free sample. This one is half for sale, um, but I'm sure you can get this from Skin Cuticles. And then, my face wash which is the blemish and age cleanser gel which helps decongesting which is a decongesting cleanser with lipohydroxy acid exfoliates and improves clarity so i'm going to use this as my cleanser along with because if you did not know skin cuticles is a sister brand to la roche posay so they did um also give me the la roche posay and Thelios 50 plus invincible fluid um this um sunscreen comes highly recommended by my dermatologist um even though i did tell her that i'm using eucerin she did say eucerin is also a very good product but for the kind of treatment that i'm on with skin cuticles um this works well together with all the skin cuticles products so i got a la roche posay um sunscreen and i also got a night moisturizer from la roche posay which is called tolerain girl i feel like la roche posay has the weirdest wording for their products but like if you can see that that's that's the product <laughs> um and then inside i got you know the skin cuticles pitch band for when i you know do my wash days and then i appreciate those because it just helps water not to touch my hairline and then i've got this vitamin c skin suit and oh okay this really cute bag inside let me open it oh it's got like a skin cuticles um logo embossed into it and oh it's just an empty pouch full with paper <laughs> so yeah this is the first drop i want to talk about so guys if you do see my skin cuticles content on instagram please do engage um if you're not following my instagram i will leave the link to my instagram down below on the description box but yeah that's it for skin cuticles and then next my eucerin family sent me a re-up of the eucerin body range 
actually they do rare repair and, and there's a card inside that reads Dear Amanda, as a member of the Usurin family, we thought we should top you up on your favorite body range. Enjoy with love, the Usurin Symbiotic family. Absolutely adore, adore <laughs> the Usurin and Symbiotic family. So they re they re upped me with the body cream. Um, this is my daughter's body cream. She really, this really treats her skin very well. It's a little bit on the pricier side. But trust me, for your baby skin, she is my highly recommended body cream. And then they also sent me that Aquafar Soothing Skin Balm. I haven't used this one, but you know, thank you guys for throwing that in. And then this is my partner's favorite one, which is the Urea Repair 5% um, Urea Lotion. He literally swears by this and for a person who in our family he's the one that actually suffers from dry skin um, so this really helps like soothe his skin he definitely prefers using the moisturizer and specifically yes my angel the user and moisturizer they also sent me a really cute um, headband along with a common urea shampoo so if you have a dry scalp or you're suffering from any eczema on your scalp this shampoo is highly recommended to um, address those issues and yeah Hisarin is a very um, home friendly brand that you can use at home it's it's yours this one's yours mine yes Mm -hmm. And that one's also yours. Okay. Um, yes, guys. That's what it's like having a, a baba. And then, oh, last but not least, you know, we, we're getting this brand work, guys. Um, my hair. I got a really cool hair drop. I'm going to show you now. Mm. Hey, no, mommy's sitting there. What's up? So I got a really, really cool hair drop from L'Oreal Professional, which is their new curls expressions range. Um, I don't know when my video is going to go live, but when you see her, when you see her, give her a like and comment. <laughs> so they did send me this really cute um, gym set. Um, this is from Cotton On, but obviously branded for the hashtag Espresh Your Curls, um, Curls Expressions range. And then inside, I also got some hair clips. Yay. And then basically the whole Curls Expressions range. And guys, I mean, literally. I'm going to talk you guys through these um, for my normal routines that I use at home. There's certain products. So I just had my cornrows undone. I haven't given my hair a wash. So I'm going to show you guys which products I'll be using on my wash days. For days where I've had obviously my cornrows on for like two weeks. Um, because I do use different types of products for different reasons and i'm gonna thank you pumpkin i'm gonna show you guys how i incorporate those into my lifestyle so one one thing about this range that i found is very different from all the other products i've used is that if you're a person who wants to enhance pumpkin stop it if you're a person who wants to enhance your curls and your curl pattern and you're looking to just see the true reflection of your hair and its um, capabilities as well as strengthening your hair and giving it some moisture this range you really have to try as soon as it hits the market if you're a curly head um, coily hair uh, wavy hair you're gonna really really enjoy this range it's rich and it smells divine she uses this on her hair <laughs> that's why she's showing <laughs> you guys <laughs> so that's what she uses on her hair and i'm going to show you what i use on my hair so 
yeah those are the drops that i've gotten and i just wanted to sit down and chat to you about um and what else has been happening yo guys campaign world has been so overwhelming like we are in october as i filmed this and september october november december i was like campaign filled work um i did some work with samsung as well I actually need to send an invoice to them before i forget um i am doing some work with mr price baby um yes i am we are well it's me and her <laughs> we're doing some work with mr price baby which is really really exciting um what else there's just a lot going on i can't even keep up that's why i've been struggling to actually vlog because i literally don't have the time to sit down and talk you guys through what is really going on all you're seeing are snippets of me in the car expressing what i'm about to do and that's that it literally just ends there um i'm still going to gym even though i'm not as consistent as i'd like to be i want to start pilates there's a pilates a studio in lelusha that i'm going to try out soon i'm going to take you guys along um and then what else besides that that's the only update i have for you about my skin my birthday was amazing hopefully birthday. yes that birthday vlog goes up before this vlog and the next day Can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. Hit man in a top chair, see him at topless, even a stick is gay. Hugging my brothers and say that I love them, but I don't swing that way. The man them celebrate Eid, the trap still running on Christmas Day. Somebody tell Doja Cat that I'm trying to indulge in that. In my great chat suit, see the bulging that, see the motion clap when you're throwing it back. These females planning on doing me wrong, so I'm grabbing a dumb at the Trojan pack. Post a location after we're gone, can't slip and let them know where we're at. I don't know about you, but I value my life. There's so much things I ain't done yet Like fucking a flight attendant I don't party but her car deep there So fuck it, I might attend it Gotta get back sometimes and wonder How life would have been if I never did take them risk And would have I prospered Floating and I won't go under Been out of town for a month Absence made the love go fonder UK rapper, UK dog Gotta mention my name if you talk about the genre Alright how, how can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay Hit man in a top track See a man topless, even a stick is gay Hugging my brothers and say that I love them, but I don't swing that way. The man them celebrate Eid, the trap still running. Ow, 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 ow. Hey Bangani, um, we just finished doing Lunamo's toy shop, or toy pickup for her campaign. We had to reshoot some images because my posts were fashion focused instead of toy focused, which is what they gave me money to do. So I, we just picked up um a couple of more toys that she could obviously use for the campaign we're doing with mr price baby um at pinecrest center or more i don't know but it's in pine town um and yeah it's it's actually got a lot of baby stuff like if you're looking for anything baby related the mr price baby at pinecrest is is really extensive it's ha it literally has everything that you would need for your nursery babies toys baby books baby clothing and just baby essentials um which is pretty pretty cool at an affordable price um they also had lego which is pretty cool my daughter likes lego so i picked that up uh for her as one of the toys that she will be using and yeah 
my skin's breaking out i have a pimple right over here and right over there that one is painful my skin's breaking out because i'm about to go in my must i'm about to start my lady cycle but yeah i'm gonna make my way home now uh okay, i am back home and i just want to show you what i got from mr price baby um i did attend the mr price baby store launch in eastgate um obviously i didn't capture that um because my camera was in for repairs during that time so it came i went home with the bag full of goodies so i reuse this bag whenever i go pick up my goodies from mr price baby and we restocked on her huggies pants my daughter uses these um i've tried many a diaper as a toddler mom and i've just really enjoyed the no leakage and just the comfort of huggies gold pants so i got that then i picked up this lego set which is really cute um this was 150 the price is right at the back so they have lego sets that range from 150 to like 350 depending on how big you want your lego to be and then i got this cute tea set this was 56 rand so it comes in this nice storage bag um, and this is the tea set we got she's going to use this for her content um, I'm gonna put that back in here. And then I got her these really cute um, Alice bands. Um, this was 40 Rand. And then I got her this Play Doh activity bucket. This was 70 Rand. And as you can see here, it has like the Play Doh, and then it has like the rollers and those things to make shapes with. Um, and some eyes to create you know things so I really like that for her and we got some jumbo crayons um, this is really good to have especially because she's at an age where she likes to basically draw on everything and yeah that's what I got this time around and that all totaled 615 um which is pretty reasonable like i've got a lot they also had like face painting stuff finger painting things a lot of books i picked up a book the last time um which i don't have here they have a lot of books they also have like a, a whole lot of baby essentials they also have their own baby line which is bundle and joy or bundle plus joy which has body baths um what's this thing called bubble baths that's what i mean <laughs> it's so hard in Durban i can't even think <laughs> yeah so you get bubble baths bubble oils cleansing oils baby wipes cotton pads literally anything that you'd need for baby um that baby plus bundle joy range has um, and what else they also have a clothing section, an extensive clothing section, um, and a lot of baby stuff in terms of baby carts, baby consoles. Like it's it's a it's a really really nice store, and it's affordable. Um, but affordability is relative um, to each one. But at the way that things are priced, they're priced pretty affordable and you know you guys should visit it if you're in Durban I know in Joburg they have the Eastgate one because we went to the Eastgate launch um, and I don't know where else but I also know that they do have things online if you don't have a Mr. Price baby next to you or around you that you can order your things online and that could get delivered to you so that's what I got up to today um, I'm about to catch up on some emails and what else I've supposed to say? Oh, I forgot to print my damn contract. <laughs> There's a contract that I need to sign and send through. 
but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Today was a today was a long day, so yes, I'm done, and I'm feeling very iffy because I'm about to go in my period. I think that's why. So yeah, bye guys. I will see you when I pick up my camera again. Okay, we'll open this later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's a Lego. Lego. Mm -hmm. More Play Doh? More. Hey, Balani. Welcome to a new day of this vlog. I just finished school pickup. My little princess over there is fast asleep um skin still going through the most <laughs> guys i can't wait for my face to go back to what it used to be i i am tired of looking at myself and not being happy but anyways i have a waxing appointment today i'm gonna go groom everything that needs to be groomed right now but i'm trying out a new place so i'm gonna take you guys along I'm supposed to be traveling tomorrow and I don't know if I am actually because nothing has been said. Durban's also extremely hot once again. Um, this is why I need my skin to be clear because I'm not trying to be wearing makeup in this heat. Um, but all in, a, in its own timing it will happen. At least my forehead is getting better. Like my forehead had the discoloration because of the wig glue. But my my cheeks are really stubborn, very problematic. Apparently, it's hormonal, which makes sense because I'm breaking out because I'm about to start my period. But like, please give me a break. Summer's around the corner. I cannot be wearing makeup to hide these spots. There's no way. There is no way. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm checking in. I'm still in very low spirits for some strange reason. Um very very low spirits i don't know if i'm tired or whatever the case is but yeah i'm home now she needs to go in for her nap and i'm gonna try to shoot some content while she's sleeping hey balani i am starting a new day of this vlog i i'm on my way to pick up my daughter it's school pickup um my partner does the drop-offs in the morning i do the pickups in the afternoon and yeah that's where i am i'm feeling a little bit better today for some strange reason i haven't started my cycle yet but my mood today is definitely a little bit better than i've been feeling this past week um what else i'm literally doing nothing today with all the work that i've been reshooting and doing this week i do not want to see or touch anything work related today and the rest of this weekend um it is a friday so i'm gonna get this intro up and going um and it's probably gonna be the last day of this vlog i tried to like vlog um do a weekly vlog and i don't know if i was able to do it but um yesterday i went to a new waxing place and I got sugar waxing done on my homegirl which was so painful guys um, I regretted it at some point but she did say that the benefits of a sugar wax are better than a normal wax in terms of ingrowns and just the texture of your intimate areas so I've been waxing for as long as I can remember actually and my my late mom introduced me to my current waxing lady i've been with her for probably 10 years now if i'm not mistaken but i do realize that i still get ingrown hairs and i don't know why maybe my aftercare isn't as um gentle as i'm supposed to be but i really just wanted to try sugar waxing out um because obviously that is the new rage and it has benefits of you know not giving you ingrowns when your hair grows back and what else does sugar waxing do like improve the texture of your intimate areas and 
how they look in terms of pigmentation so i really just want to try that out for the next couple of months and see how it treats me she was highly affordable um and it, it looks good like she did a good job but i don't want to speak on it about the results or recommend you on anything until i see um some progress with my own you know things um but yeah she was just such a lovely indian lady very talkative um and i actually saw her like she's very close to where i live because of sni sni mother of the snags <laughs> um shared a story um of a, of the lady that did her sugar waxing and i was like oh my gosh i actually wanted to try sugar waxing because my current waxing lady doesn't do sugar waxing she does normal waxing so anyways before i ramble on um update on my skin i feel like you guys are gonna hear about me complaining about my about my skin in probably every single clip because oh my gosh i cringe <laughs> But it's getting a little bit better. Um, I had this breakout and the one on my lip um, this month before my period. And I just hope that it just stays on those two. Because the aftermath of dealing with, you know, breakouts is this. I just have all these spots that I have to treat. Um, I am going in for SkinCeuticals facial this month. I'm hoping those work because um, when I used to do facials with Dr. Lou with Numa Aesthetics while I was on her treatments, I did find that going in for monthly facials um, does do a difference in terms of um, the appearance of dark marks. Like I know she'll do chemical peels and those chemical peels will help brighten um the dark spots that um i was trying to tackle um so yeah anyways i'm rambling let me go pick my baby up and i'll catch you guys i'm literally not doing anything today so um i just wanted to update you guys about what i've been doing and i know that i say i'm gonna do this and then i don't vlog because i forget honestly this the past two weeks have been so <laughs> They've been like this. I I I I can't wait for this funk to be over, and even with work, like it's a lot. Like malimpela, but like when I have to work for it like this, <laughs> I want to cry. Anyways, so my hair looks lock. I hope you guys can see it. I've been really enjoying the curls expressions range by l'oreal actually i've been wearing my hair out a lot too anyways let me start this car i've been talking for five minutes bye guys i'll see you after i picked up my baby without a doubt after school that's going to be her <laughs> Mother Earth, Mother Mary, 
Bangani, it is the next day after my hair appointment. I know I didn't show you guys the finished look after the salon, but it's gone puffy, um, which has got a lot of volume, which I'm happy about. But I have noticed that I still need to take care of my split ends. Um, so in my next appointment, I'll do that mm -hmm. properly. But for a first time um, experience, I really would recommend um, the lady that did my hair, which is Oanele. She was really skilled in knowing what to do and how to handle my hair when it comes to straightening it. I would advise that if you are going to straighten your natural hair, that you do a treatment, um, which is going to help protect the hair strands um, during you know the the blow drying process um they obviously do apply serums and the heat protectant sprays but this is the final look and this is like in its final form like after the blow drying and the straightening this is what my hair naturally looks like um straight um so until then I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it go back to being curly using the curl expressions range that I received. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep it like this because I really love how light my hair feels. Also, it just it feels different. Like, I feel so different, but I love it. I love it. Um, we have a new intruder hate her but i'm so excited that i have a facial tomorrow with um dr nobonga using skin cuticles products my daughter's here with me today she didn't go to school because she's not feeling well um so if you hear in the background i do apologize <laughs> and also this is not the final form of my background my partner just decided to put his azul there for some strange reason but yeah I have a facial tomorrow um, with Dr. Nokmonga to just, it's like a follow up after my consultation because after I got my consultation, I received some products from SkinCeuticals, which I did show you all earlier on in the vlog. <laughs> and then um, tomorrow I'm going to get a facial and then I'm going to show you the aftercare treatments I use as well after I get a facial but so far guys how great is my skin looking after that disaster fiasco we went through it's just her i don't know why she's here but it's fine um i really f i really do feel like it's minimized my dark spots i am having like an eczema reaction right over here if you see that the joys of summer but i'm gonna be fine i'm gonna be fine hey bangani welcome back to a new day of this vlog um i'm currently at etiwin hospital for my skin cuticles reshoot i'm hoping today goes well um i'm waiting for my wanda i'm like 10 minutes early but i'm gonna make my way into the doctor's room so i can settle in i'm gonna update you guys i'm sick as a dog but we gotta do this do to say hi to me do to say hi yeah i'm doing my first laser treatment guys i'm so nervous we have my face guys we are some <laughs> <laughs> okay. i'm gonna be strong for you guys <laughs> I'm here for moral support. <laughs> I'm shitting my pants, okay. <laughs> Post loser. So now I'm gonna do my pubes. 